channel. So today's video is going to be a giveaway, a makeup tutorial of the Anastasia World Traveler Palette. So for today's giveaway, it's just going to be one palette that I'm going to be giving away, so one lucky winner will win it, and it is to celebrate me hitting over 100 followers on my Facebook page. So thank you guys so much for following me on that page. It means so much to me to have your support, not only on YouTube, but across all of my social media accounts. It really does mean a lot. and I love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much again. But as I always do, I like to reward you guys for your support. Um, so whenever I hit milestones, I like to do a giveaway. So whenever I do, I, I've kind of decided that whenever I do a Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest giveaway, I'm going to be doing like I think I did this on previous ones, but I'm just going to be giving away one product. And then I do the bigger ones on YouTube anniversaries, um, YouTube milestone, an Instagram milestone, or if there's something like special like my stocking stuff or giveaway for Christmas. Those I like to do the bigger ones on, but with Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, I'm probably just going to be, you know, picking one product. I give away one champagne pop highlighter. I gave away, what else have I given away? I forget what my Pinterest one was. Maybe I give away two on that. I don't know. But um, today I'm going to be giving away the World Traveler palette. I did have one of these left that I wanted to give to you guys. So you will be receiving one of those. Now before we get into the giveaway rules and details and the makeup tutorial, I do want to go over some introduction stuff with you guys. So if you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. If you are also a beauty blogger and on YouTube, uh, or even if you're just a regular YouTuber and you don't have an necessary beauty channel, you may want to check out my Beauty Vlogger 101 channel, which I will link down below. I do give some tips, um, five random tips every month on how to improve your channel. I also do equip videos on equipment, how to do a giveaway, how to do like how to pick out backdrops, you know. So just go check out that channel if you are a YouTuber and subscribe there. And then what else? What else do I need to talk about in this intro? Oh yes, so I need to do my question of the video, which today's question is going to be, what is your favorite type of lipstick? Do you typically go for liquid lips, liquid matte lipsticks, satin liquid lipsticks? Do you like matte regular lipsticks, creamy lipsticks, do you, or do you just kind of go towards like chapsticks that have a little bit of color to them? So yeah, let me know what type is your favorite down below. So first things first, let's jump into the giveaway details. So there will be one winner who will be winning this Anastasia World Traveler palette. And this is an international giveaway. I only do international giveaways on my channel. The giveaway will end on April 6th at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll be picking the winner sometime later that night and announcing it on social media. And then I will also list the winners at the top of the description box of this video. Now the giveaway rules are going to be the same rules as I mentioned in my previous giveaway video where I gave away the peanut butter and jelly palettes. So rule number one is that you need to follow me on my Beauty Addict Next Door YouTube channel. Rule number two, you need to follow me on one of my other social media accounts, either Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, or Facebook. All of them are linked down in the description box as always. Rule number three is that you have to comment on this video and let me know what your favorite eyeshadow is from this palette. Rule number four is that on my corresponding social media post, which will have a selfie of me, you will need to comment what your favorite eyeshadow is on that post on that social media account. Rule number five is that multiple entries are allowed, but please only enter once on each social media account. Don't enter, don't comment 15 times on YouTube, 15 times on Instagram. Just comment once on YouTube, once on Instagram. That will just make our lives easier and less spammy. <laughs> And then the last rule is that if you're under the age of 16, please check with your legal guardian to make sure that you can enter in the giveaway. Now, if you want to know how I'm picking the winner in this giveaway, watch my previous giveaway video, the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette giveaway video. I do go over a little bit on how I pick the winner. I will also insert, you know, at what point in the video that that starts that I'm talking about so you don't have to watch the whole thing all the way through. Uh, so I will put that down in the description box as well around like with the giveaway details so that way you guys can know where to look for that. I also want to mention too with this World Traveler palette, all the eyeshadows that I use in this makeup tutorial, we use pink champagne, fudge, soft peach, and then intense gaze. All of these are um, available in the single eyeshadows. I don't think every single eyeshadow in here is available in the single eyeshadow, but I think a lot are. Uh, Noir is also, which we use to, you know, set our gel liner. So I just want to let you guys know that if you don't have this palette because you can't get it now, it's limited edition, it's no longer available. You can still get the single eyeshadows to do this look. Hey beauty addicts, so I am coming to you from the future. This will be a, a makeup tutorial that is coming up 
But I forgot to mention something in uh, this video whenever I was first filming, not this video, but the makeup tutorial for the Anastasia World Traveler Palette giveaway. I forgot to mention something and I really want to insert it and it's very time sensitive. So I just want to say happy birthday, Samantha March. Samantha March is a YouTuber. She has a beauty channel as well and she is one of the people that I first collabed with. We did a holiday glam makeup tutorial. Hers was more affordable and mine was more high end. So definitely go check out her channel, that video, some of her recent videos, and make sure you go and tell her happy birthday. Today is her birthday, March 23rd, and I really like Samantha a lot. I think she's a really sweet girl. She has great videos, fun personality, and I think you all would enjoy her channel. So definitely, yeah, go wish her happy birthday. Happy birthday, Samantha. I hope you have a wonderful day. So now that we have gone through all of the giveaway rules, let's jump on into the makeup tutorial. So off camera, I went in with the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist and then the Wet n Wild Coverall Liquid Concealer. Next, we're gonna go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt and we're gonna place that all over our lid. I really need to get the one in milk. I constantly say that I'm gonna get the one in milk and then I never do, I keep pushing it off, but I will get it <laughs> eventually. I'm gonna put in an ultra order soon, so I think I'll do it then, get it then. And pretty much I'm using this one because it has a little bit of pink to it and this is the kind of look that we're going to go for today is kind of pink tones. So I wanted to use a pink um, eyeshadow base. Now we're going to go in with the World Traveler palette and the first shade that we're going to go in with is Intense Gaze. And we're going to be putting that in the crease and it's going to be the more blown out crease color. And to place it I'm using my Wet n Wild blending brush or this is called the crease brush one or the other. I'll have it listed down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out in the outer corner of the crease and then work our way in just because this has a little bit more pigment than I usually do on the crease. It's a little bit darker. And then you're just gonna go back and forth. Always start off with the initial eyeshadow and put it on the outer part then work your way in because you always want to have more of the eyeshadow out here than in here because as you go in it gets a little bit you know thinner and you have a less you have a smaller area to work with. And it's all about blending too. I'm constantly blending. So I go back and forth with colors. Like I will redo this crease color after I do the lid and the deeper crease color. Just kind of go back and forth and make sure that everything is blended perfectly together. So don't feel bad if you have to go back and keep repeatedly blending colors. I do that too. Now we're gonna go in with this shade right here called Fudge and we're gonna place this in the deeper part of the crease. And to place it, we're gonna be using this e.l.f. blending brush just because it's really nice. It has a bit of a tapered end to it so you can really get in there to that deeper part of the crease. I'm gonna dip it in, only do it on the tip. Don't do it on the flatter part. Do it on the tip of the brush. Tap it off. This is very important to tap it off now whenever you're gonna go into the deeper part of the crease because with the, the outer crease color, you can get a little bit more blown out. This is more precise. So, you am start on the outer part and then you're gonna work your way in with this color. And then it's all about blending back and forth. Again, do the other side. Tap it. And blend. And now I'm going in back in with intense gaze just because we kind of lost that when we put on this deeper crease color. So we go back over and do that. And what we're gonna do is if any there's any eyeshadow that got on the lid, I'm gonna do that. Still on the hunt for the perfect brush to put on the deeper part of the crease. This one works pretty good, but still can get kind of messy, especially when you get to the inner parts. So to help clean it up, we're gonna go back in with this raisin eyeshadow base. And we're gonna put that on the lid. Don't get it into the deeper part of the crease. We don't want to lose the deeper part of the crease color, but we want to have that lid color to reset because we're gonna go in with a different eyeshadow on top and we don't want there to be too much, you know, dark brown on it. I'm gonna spread it on. You see it covers it up. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with pink champagne and place this on the lid. The place I'm gonna be using this wet and wild a large eyeshadow brush. You could also use your fingers, but I just feel like using a brush today. So I'm gonna tap that all over the lid. This color is just beautiful. It's one of their best sellers. Okay, and then I put a little bit of fudge on this brush again, and we're gonna go back in. Just try to be a little bit more careful. 
kind of tap it in the areas and then go back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna go back with pink champagne on the lid. Just tapping that on. Be careful going back and forth and not getting to the deeper part, but just kind of smooth everything out. And then with, with, with what's left on this brush, don't add any more color, just go back and forth. Same thing with this crease brush, blending brush. Don't add any color, just go on and go back and forth. So that way you can blend it without losing, without adding on any more color and then taking away any more color and then having to go back and forth again. And if you do have to go back and forth, that is fine. If you want to get the color a little bit deeper in this deeper crease, go for it. Just be careful. The, the, more you, you, the more steps that you go into it, just be a little bit more careful with how you're doing everything. And do whatever works best for you. So off camera, I went in with the ColourPop Gel Color and Swerve and placed that on my eyes. And then to top it off, I went in with this eyeshadow called Noir from Anastasia. It is the best black, black eyeshadow out there. Seriously, my favorite black eyeshadow of all time. And the last eyeshadow that we're going to use right here is in Soft Peach, and we're going to place this on our brow bone. And to place it, I'm going to be using this Sigma E55 brush. Off camera, I went in with this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and then I topped it off with the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Mine is in Creamy Vanilla, which is the lightest shade. I was a little worried it was going to be too dark, but it ended up working out, so um, that's the only bummer. I wish they had at least one or two lighter shades, but it is like my favorite foundation. I have never been more excited about a foundation, especially one that's not even that dewy but I love it so much. So stay tuned for more information on this foundation. I also did a first impression of this foundation on my Beauty Vlogger 101 Instagram, and it was also posted on my Facebook on Beauty Vlogger 101, so I will link those down below in case you wanna see it. It's just a couple sentences, it's not a whole, you know, full review since it was just my first impression. Uh, but just in case you guys wanna see any other first impressions on that Instagram or on my Beauty Addict Next Door Instagram and Facebook, I will have all of those linked down below for you guys. Next, we're gonna go in with this Pixi. This is the Correction Concentrate Brightening Peach product, and you're supposed to put it underneath your eyes. It's supposed to help cover up any darkness. I've only used this once, and I'm gonna use it a second time today. I don't really know if it makes a difference, uh, but I kinda, I don't know. I'm gonna keep testing out and seeing. Yeah, because of the color too, I feel like it probably helps, you know, brighten up that underneath under eye area. Now I'm gonna put this on after my foundation, but then I'm gonna go in with concealer on top of this so that you don't just leave this like this. You always, you know, with something like this, like a color corrector, you know, that you always go in with concealer after it. So that way you can kind of cover up the correcting part. Like it corrects for you, but then you have to color up the correcting a little bit just to even out your skin and so you don't have to, like this pink blob, green blob, or whatever color that you use on your skin. Yeah, just rubbing it right underneath my eyes. Now, I don't really have problems with dark under eyes. At least I don't really notice them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys notice. I have more problems with bags. So if you guys have any tips or any products that you use that are cruelty free, let me know just because I have so much to research, research to do as it is. So if you guys can help me out, <laughs> that'd be great because I'm researching like a billion things right now as far as cruelty free goes because it really is a huge lifestyle change. So. You guys can help me with my under eye bags. That'd be great. <laughs> All right, so now that we've put that color corrector on, we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Cover All Concealer. So I was gonna use the NYX HD Concealer in Porcelain, but I was like, Alex, you need to use other things. Don't just use the one concealer that you have. But that just shows you how great of concealer it is. It's also like the perfect color because it's a little it's more of like a highlighting concealer. Now this one's actually kind of light too, but I think the, the NYX one's just a little bit lighter. This one I would probably use to like even out my skin tone, but it might brighten it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go with my typical routine of just putting it in these spots and then we'll blend it in. But 
had to step out of my comfort zone and just use another concealer, but I highly recommend the NYX HD concealer. It's so good. Now I'm just gonna blend it in with this foundation brush from Wet n Wild. Really don't like it, but I've been using it a lot to blend in my um, concealer, like what I'm doing right now, just because my beauty blender has been dirty forever now. This was dirty too. <laughs> you know. I'll get around to cleaning my brushes eventually. It's really easy to clean my eyebrows because I could just use a daily brush cleanser. But with stuff with like foundation and liquid, like you really need to deep clean them because of the liquid really gets into the brush. You really can't get it off with a daily brush cleanser. If you have a brush cleanser out there that can, that's cruelty free, let me know. Because that would be insanely helpful. Because if I deep clean my brushes and they dry overnight, so if I woke up in the morning to do them and then wanted to do a makeup after, like it's not gonna happen. So off camera, I went in with the Physicians Formula Translucent Powder. I'll have the full name listed down below, it's super long. And then I also did my brows and I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Next, we're gonna go in with this NYX Ombre Blush in Sweet Spring and place that on our cheeks. I really like this color a lot and I love the ombre effect. However, I will say that these aren't like my favorite blushes. I still prefer Milani blushes over these. So we're gonna use the Wet n Wild Blush Brush. I dip that in. And then we're gonna tap it and blend back and forth. And around, around, around. Tap it, back and forth, around, around, around. Now, I do like these blushes better than the Wet n Wild ones. Now, a lot of people like the Wet n Wild ones, but I think that they're too, the one that I got was so pigmented. It got out of control so quickly. Like you have to be, you have to go in with a really light hand. But I don't always do that or think to do that, and then it's too late, and then it's like crap. So I rather have a blush that's not that pigmented. Pigmented enough that obviously you see it, but not like it's like super intense because you don't want your blush to be super intense. So now I'm using this large stipple brush from the Wet n Wild collection, one of my favorite brushes from this collection. And we're just going to blend out this blush just to make sure it's as airbrushed as possible and not too harsh. Now I'm gonna go back in with this e.l.f. blush that I used to place on the translucent powder. Let's go back underneath here and go back and forth. I didn't add on any more powder. I just wanna make sure it blends in nicely with the blush. Same thing down here, just in case it went a little bit too low. Kind of go back and forth where you place that concealer and powder, and then do just a little bit more blending. Blending is so key. Next, we're gonna go in with this highlight trio from City Color Cosmetics. This is collection number one. I'm just gonna open it up so we have all three of these highlight shades, and I'm gonna go in with this pink one right here. Now to place the highlight shade, we're gonna be using this L Small Taper Brush. I actually like this brush to go underneath my eyes and to do the cheekbone highlight. So right now we're gonna be using it to do the cheekbone highlight. Okay, and I just put it on the tip and spread it back and forth. This is such a nice, affordable highlight. So if you guys haven't tried City Color Cosmetics, they're a really affordable brand, but they have some great products. So off camera, I went with the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. I put that on my upper lashes and my lower lashes. And then just to add some more volume and thickness, I went in with the City Color Be Bold 3x Volume Mascara and just put this on my upper lashes. This is what I use when I like skip out on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've been going to this. Not saying it's just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but it's the second closest thing that I currently have to it right now. As far as like voluminous thickening lashes. Now I realized as I started doing my mascara that I didn't put any eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I do that all the time, particularly when I'm filming makeup tutorials. I don't know why, I always forget that. So let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with intense gaze and we're gonna place this on the lower lash line. So to place intense gaze on the lower lash line, we're gonna be going in with the Sigma E30 pencil brush. This is like the best brush to use on the lower lash line, I love it. So we're gonna start on the outer part and then work our way in. You always want that outer part to be the most intense and you don't wanna to get too crazy as you go into the inner part. Cause like other um, items I've talked about in this video, as you go further in it gets, like you have less of an area to work with. More, uh, you're gonna have more, you're more likely to screw up here than out here. Outer part, work our way in. 
looking up can kind of help too if you're going to go like that part. Now sometimes when you go in with a color like this on the lower lash line, it can kind of make you look a little sick. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to wipe it off in like a tissue paper just to get off that top layer of eyeshadow because we're going to dip it into pink champagne. So I'm dipping that into pink champagne, just tapping on it, and then we're going to tap it on top of this color. So I'll add a little bit of sparkle. A little bit of that color from pink champagne so it's not super it's not too intense of the intense gaze color it makes this a little bit more fun too now normally when I'm doing the lower lash line whatever the blown out color is I put that on the lower lash line or whatever the crease color is I don't do the deeper crease color it's always the more blown out crease color because that's you know the deeper crease color is going to be a little bit too dark I mean I could do put fudge on the lower lash line but I didn't want to do that for this look I wanted it to be a little bit more focused on you know like the pinkish tones to it not the dark brown so that's why I put intense gaze on the lower lash line and then I added pink champagne on top just to make it a little bit more fun but if you are using a straight up red in the blown out crease color, you're not going to want to use that on the lower lash line. That's just like too intense. That's, that's way too far past using, unless you're doing like a Halloween makeup tutorial and you're trying to look dead or like gross or something, but you want to avoid doing that just in general. Like this is the pinkest that I've got on the lower lash line and then I try to mix in another color just to make it a little bit more wearable. And then what we can do to make this even better is we're going to put black eyeliner on the upper and lower water line so that way it separates the color from the eyes and we already kind of got that going on up here with the black eye eyeliner on top of the eye but because this is on the lower lash line it's really important that we put black so that way it's not like the red next to the white of your eye because it's going to have that it's going to be separated by that black eyeliner so the black eyeliner that i'm going to be using is this one from wet n wild this is the wet n wild mega last retractable eyeliner i think i've only used this once but i really liked it and for it being wet and wild, it's really nice that they have a retractable one. And I swear this was only like a couple bucks. So I have it all the way out. We're just gonna put it on the upper wa upper water line first. It's not really coming. It's not super pigmented. At least not the upper part. This is gonna be hard. Here, let me just get close because this is not gonna happen. It's too far away. Okay. Now the rest of the video is like far away, but we're gonna do it, do it this way. Okay, just so you guys can see. Also, if you're wondering what nail polish I'm wearing, it's from a A I L A Cosmetics. I don't know if I'm saying it's Ayla or whatever, but um. It's called My Two Jess, and I'll link that down below for you guys. But it's, the My Two Jess is based on the fact that the owner, her ex boyfriend's name was Jeff, and her husband's or her ex husband's name is Jeff, and her new boyfriend's name is Jeff. So it's really funny. It's mainly why I got it. I'm not usually into colors like this, but I had to get it because of the name. Look. It's working a little bit better in the lower lash line. I can't really see it on the upper water line. No. Okay. Now the last step is to do lipstick and I'm actually gonna add lip gloss as well to this look. So we're gonna go in with this Wet n Wild lipstick. I have not tried this on yet. I've only swatched it and it is called Think Pink 901B. So I think this is their, uh, this is a Mega Last. It's one of the, it's like their matte lipstick. Just cause I'm, if I'm gonna get a regular lipstick that's not a liquid lipstick, it's gonna be matte. And to top off this lipstick, we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sunset, what is it, Sunset Strip Lip Gloss. And if you wanna see a full video of um, their eight best-selling lip glosses, I will link it down below. I do lip swatches for you. They smell like vanilla too, like vanilla icing. Oh, 
Okay, so I think I said the lip products were the last one, but no. I always do this and I'm not gonna forget it this time. We're gonna set our face with, again, with the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I like to do it before and after I do my makeup. I just sometimes forget to do it after. And if I, and I usually end up doing makeup tutorials and like I don't show you guys that part, but I end up doing it later. So I forgot. So let's do it now. It's very refreshing, but I don't like the spray bottle. I don't think it sprays out nicely in the I think it like, I don't know, but it smells really good and it is really refreshing. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and will try out this makeup tutorial. Please let me know down in the comments as well what your favorite eyeshadow is from this palette and check out my description box for all of the giveaway rules. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Giveaway it's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rate. Oh, this is you. So Alex, welcome back. I also did a first impact. I also did ombre brush in. Brush? Oh, yeah.